matter was tidied up some time ago. Mark Mitchell, question number four. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Defence. What recent announcement has the government made about funding for New Zealand's defence and security? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Order, order. I've called the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, this morning, along with the Prime Minister, I released the Defence White Paper 2016, a 15-year modernisation plan with almost $20 billion to ensure the New Zealand Defence Force has the capabilities it needs to meet the country's security and defence challenges. Supplementary. Uh, supplementary question, Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What major challenges does the Defence Force face and how will these be tackled in the years ahead? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, as technology advances and the security situation in many parts of the world deteriorates, the Defence Force will be required to respond to a wide range of different situations. Ensuring security and law-abiding activity in our exclusive economic zone is one which we will be boosted by more and better surveillance aircraft and ships. Ensuring we protect our interests in the Ross Sea and the Antarctic uh, and pull our weight in supporting a wider Antarctic program will be aided by two new ice strengthened vessels capable of spending more time in the Southern Ocean and ensuring the sophisticated communications platforms operating on our boats, planes and other uh, uh, vehicles uh, when they are on deployment around the world uh, are well protected uh, from the growing number of cyber attacks uh, and assailants who are using that particular uh, method of warfare will be addressed. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How else will the $20 billion of expenditure announced today be spent? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, an ex exercise like we've undertaken in producing the White Paper allows us to look ahead to the demands which will come on all aspects of the Defence Force in the years ahead. Today we've so uh, signalled procurement of strategic and tactical airlift assets as well as air surveillance aircraft. There are also combat, patrol, sustainment and littoral operations vessels for the Navy and there's an ever-increasing equipment uh, for greater cyber and intelligence capacity to support Defence Force personnel and networks at home and abroad. Mr Speaker, uh, this is a good white paper identifying at this point in time the environment we live in and the means necessary for our Defence Force to meet the demands put upon it in the years ahead. Supplementary question, the Honourable Phil Goff. Uh, Mr Speaker, what does the white paper do to address the serious problem that the Auditor General referred to last month, which is a serious, a significant and worsening shortage of skilled people in the Defence Force, which she said is stopping the use of the assets that the Minister is spending billions of dollars investing in. Uh, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, the assets that are not being deployed by the New Zealand Defence Force were pur purchased under the previous government's watch, where they did not take the sort of long-range look at requirements for defence that this white paper takes. Mr Speaker, uh, that may well be something the, the uh, Auditor General has, uh, in fact, determined is a problem, but this white paper speaks significantly about personnel and having the right mix of skills in the military for the years ahead. Order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, the Honourable Phil Mr. Goff. Mr. Speaker, I seek leave to uh, table a document from the Auditor General that's part of a Treasury paper I don't think is widely available that makes the point that severe shortage of labour stops order. Uh, the, the order. Army using the, the NHS. Order, the paper's been described, and on the basis of the members saying that it's not readily available to members, I will put the leave. Leave a sort to table that particular document. Is there any objection? No objection, it can be tabled. Order. Supplementary. Oh, supplementary question. Grant Robertson. Has the Minister of Finance assured the Minister of Defence that the full $20 billion will be funded? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. The uh, Minister of Finance has been involved in the discussions that have led to the release of the White Paper, and naturally, he is well aware that as he progresses through the next 15 years of his term in that role, it's something that he'll have to meet. Order. No, I need to deal with a point of order, but if it is the point of order that the question was not addressed, mm -hmm. it was definitely addressed. No, it wasn't, Mr Speaker. Order. 
I hope the members... It was that, not. It may not have been to the members' satisfaction, but it was to mine. Supplementary question? The Supplementary. Right, Honourable uh, Does Prime the Minister, Minister take... To, to the Minister of Defence, does the Minister take confidence in the fact that the Opposition are now saying we'll be the government for the next 15 years? In order. Order. There is no ministerial responsibility for that. Speaker. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Has he, has he sought an assurance from the Minister of Finance that the Prime Minister's desire for tax cuts won't compromise $20 billion worth of funding for the Defence Force? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, it's deeply disturbing that the opposition finance spokesman has not seen the extraordinary surplus position the government may have in the near future. Obviously, that creates a high degree of optim optim optimisation for tax cuts as well as everything else the government's committed to. Of course, if he's, uh, if he's pred predicating his uh, question on the basis he thinks somehow something might happen to put him in the role, then I guess everything is up for grabs. Order. Order. Question.